must warn you, Mrs. Jensen, you may feel some slight discomfort. Christ, Stephen, if you do that, you're going to break her back. <laughs> Mrs. Jensen needs something a little more subtle. Dad, I know what I'm doing. I wish you'd just let me... Mrs. Jensen, mm -hmm. I must warn you, this is my first time. Oh, yes. Dad, Brian, I am a trained osteopath and I need to grow and nothing can grow in the shade, right? And I need to be an oak and at the moment I'm just a blooming bloody bush. Stephen, thank goodness you're here. Your father's making God, a terrible no. racket. The plinth Jesus wept. My hand! It's all right, Brian. We'll, we'll get you to a hospital. I'm going to be ruined. No one can look after this practice. Well, why not let Stephen have a go? Ruined! Oh. Really? I mean, really? I graduated ten years ago. I've observed you all my life and I've learned from the best. That's you. Dad. Trust me. Please. I'm sure he would have said yes, dearie. Thank you, Mrs. Jensen. <laughs> Yes? I really think you should take this opportunity. When your dad gets back, he'll see what a good job you've done. You're a bloody good osteopath. I've seen it. Stephen, it's... It's your time to shine. We could do this together. Good osteopath. Barbara, I don't want to see Stephen. You know, Brian has a reputation. His fingers are just magical. I'm sorry, dear. Fiona? Uh, Mrs. Gilbert. You saw what happened to my dad. His magic hands might never be the same again. Do you not think it's time to uh, try a newer model? <clears throat> For free? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just my, uh... Mrs. Gilbert, shall we get started?
you, oh my God. Your hands are just divine. You make your father seem like yesterday's news. Please, please carry on. With pleasure. Now, Fiona, I must warn you. This is my first time. Yeah, of course. She's loving every minute of it. Aren't you, Fiona? Poor dear. Must have dozed off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, get her finished up soon. The next client is her ex-husband, James, and they can't stand the sight of each other. Ne next client? Well, I just thought, seeing how well you were doing with Fiona, you'd want to keep going. Really show your dad you can handle it. Um. James has never really got over her. It's made him a bit uh, difficult. I'd love to. Let me just get her up. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll make him tea in the kitchen. You let her out the front. Oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you got her out, Stephen? Just a second. So you managed to finish her off? I never could. <laughs> Good one, James. Make yourself comfortable. Oh. Terrible about your father. Mm. He won't be beating the dog for a while. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, well, get on with it. I can damn near suck my own bollocks. Oh. Sometimes wish I could. The old back cause you problems? Fiona? <laughs> no, no, um, no, of course not. <laughs> Strange. She usually leaves a bloody mess wherever she goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You dog fucker! I'm so sorry, James. Uh, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay. You've cured me. Oh, all those years of pain, aching all over. Oh, oh, all those things I thought I'd never be able to do again. <laughs> Son, don't tell your father to retire. It's your turn to take the reins. With hands as good as yours, you'll work bloody miracles. I'm gonna paint the town red. Oh. This is life in the old dog. Yeah. James, wait. Fiona. Oh, my heart. She's bloody killed me. Jesus, what's happening? Uh, Barbara, uh, James's back is really playing up, so there may be a, a bit of noise, but we'll get it sorted. Oh. Won't we, James? Fair and sake, be quiet! James! 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 Oh. Stephen, I'm coming in! No, Barbara! Don't come in! You'll disturb the patient! Eleven o'clock is hit! Oh my God! It, it, 
it was an accident. I cured the old fucker of his incurable back pain. I was shining, Barbara. I was shining. And Fiona was loving every minute of it. Maybe not the neck bit, but everything else was just... Stephen! Look around! You've killed two people. If anything, that makes you the worst osteopath ever. Maybe your father was right. I've got to call the police. Barbara, wait. What's that, son? Hang on, I'll turn myself up a bit. Say again? We're gonna have to cancel today's appointment. Barbara and I are having a bit of trouble with the plinth. Could we rearrange for tomorrow? Well, your father would never have done anything like this. Ten thirty a.m. Please. Oh, well, I've got nothing better to do anyway. This is the best I've felt in years. Good. Good. Stephen, what I said yesterday, I was wrong, and I'm sorry. I should have had more faith in you. Proud of you, my boy. Proud. And later, if you want, we could talk about you having some sessions on your own. That would be great, Dad. Oh, you don't know where Barbara is, do you? I'm not sure. Yesterday she said something about skeletons in her closet. Haven't even heard from her today. <laughs> Always was a bit... Um... <laughs> Like it. Thanks, Dad. Now, Elijah, if you wouldn't mind turning over for me. So, how are you feeling? Well, it's my neck that's killing me, really. Well. Let's see what we can do about that then. Now, I must warn you, Elijah, this is my first time.